So over here is a pizza of quattro stagioni. It's coffee ice cream, vanilla ice cream, uh, with some uh, whipped cream, and with cappuccino. The passion for food! Yes, that's what's important. Oh yes, everyone. I'm back at Namur, the bustling life of Namur. Now, we are not in the touristic part of Namur. I am at the, well, rather busy area of Namur. This is a main road. So today, I am gonna be dining at an Italian restaurant, guys. Now, Namur has the reputation for having delicious food, in my opinion, but Namur plus an Italian restaurant? You know what? I have really high hopes, guys. Fingers crossed, this is gonna be a wonderful dinner. Now, I don't know about you all, but I feel super cold right now, and uh, I better get eating. So, let's do this. Let's try some wonderful Italian food here in Namur. Just found myself a nice place, right next to the window where I get to see the main road. And the presentation of this restaurant is so good. You can actually see the place where they make the pizza. It's amazing, I love it. You know, a restaurant which proudly shows you how they make the pizza, is a very promising one but is it promising enough we'll find out in a moment i just got given the menu so the menu looks like uh, something like this uh, <laughs> it's like as if i'm reading a newspaper it's amazing it's good simplicity is key all right guys i got given the menu and i got given a nice starter right here olives and pickled vegetables with it quite nice lovely italian hospitality Lovely. I always love the olives. All right, guys, I passed my first order. I am super excited, super hungry. Uh, I, I don't know, guys. Italian food for days. And you know what I've noticed? Uh, the price of the menu is so good. It's like great value for money. I've never seen this before, guys. Here, it doesn't seem to be about fine dining. Here, it's about being a community, coming together. This is what I love about Namur. This is exactly why I come all the time here to Namur. But wait, we haven't eaten yet, so first let's just enjoy the starter. Oh yes, the pickled vegetables, guys. Pickled olives. All right, guys, and I ordered my regular Coca Zero. And they gave me a glass garnished with a slice of uh, lemon. Let's have some Coca Zero right now. I like how I'm putting it in like as if it's wine. Oops, gotta be careful. Alright guys, cheers, time to have some Coca Zero. Just what I needed. Guys, I got served the pizza quattro stagioni. You heard it, guys. I chose the quattro stagioni again because each and every restaurant has their own version of the quattro stagioni. It's never the same, guys. But it's always... Is it is it always the same taste, though? You'll find out very soon, guys. I can't wait to get down to eating this. I really can't. Over here is the pizza quattro stagioni. I see this time they've kind of mixed everything up. The eggs have been boiled before being put on the pizza. Whereas last time before, in another Italian restaurant, they basically left the egg right on top of the pizza at the center. So each and every recipe has their own version. All right guys, let's get down to eating. So, forks and knife. Now, starting to eat the pizza is always the most difficult part for me because I I hate cutting the crust. Every time I cut the crust, it ends up being a mess. Oh, and uh, they gave me a bit of this uh, spicy sauce. Wonderful, wonderful. They gave me a bit of this uh, wonderful spicy sauce, which I am going to put over the pizza gently. Right, first bite, guys. Very good. Now I'm gonna have the first bite of the pizza itself, not the crust, the pizza. So basically, you have the cheese, the eggs, the mushrooms, the ham. Quite a lot of, uh, that's a beautiful marriage of flavors right there. Now I'm just gonna eat it. Adorable. Mm -mm -mm. 
It tastes rather interesting with the boiled eggs. It's quite interesting. Hey guys, I got served tiramisu. Tiramisu. I just love the excessive details being put into the presentation. It's adorable. Now I have to take a bite of it. I love it. It's so good. The tiramisu is so good, guys. It's a very good dessert. I really like it. No idea what they just gave me. They gave me a special that is for this restaurant alone. Um, and basically what it is, is it's coffee ice cream, vanilla ice cream, uh, with some uh, whipped cream, and with cappuccino. Oh, it's an espresso. Oh, it smells so good. Anyways, now what's going to happen is I have to put it in there. So, uh, three, two, one, let's do this. Ah, I don't know where to start. I don't know, guys, should I do this? Okay, I should do it. <gasps> oh, I made a mess. I made a mess. Yes, I did it. I did it. I kept it in there. Now I better eat it quick. I better eat it quick. All right, guys, so as you guys saw, I kept the coffee in there with a little bit of a mess, but hey, I made it eventually. Mm. Oh, so good. Try to try one bite of the coffee ice cream. I love it. I love it. It's time to have a drink, guys. Three, two, one. I love it. The drink is so good. Oh, this is the best drink ever, guys. I'm done. That was amazing, guys. I loved it. Oh my goodness. Can you believe it, guys? Italian food at such a good value for money price. This is why I love coming to Namur. Oh, it's wonderful. It's just wonderful, guys. It, you see, and, and the food, guys, the, the pizza, it was so delicious. It was very relaxing to eat. Very relaxing. And I, I, I enjoyed it. I really, really did. And then also, another thing I really like about... Um, what I just ate was the, the the tiramisu the tiramisu guys the tiramisu was stunning and I absolutely loved the presentation now with the pizza it was great um, I was a bit surprised by the egg the, the dry uh, the boiled egg in fact in this particular pizza they used boiled eggs guys usually whereas last time in the other restaurant uh, I had the egg which was uh, on the pizza just like that you know so I, I like both, although to be honest, I prefer the first one, the, the other restaurant's pizza where the egg was just on it like that. I liked it, but hey, you know what? This restaurant was amazing and also great value for money. Whereas the other Italian restaurant felt more on the fine dining side of things, yeah? It felt very, you know, uh, chic. Uh, because that's because it, it was located on the Lac Jean Val. It, it's a it's a place where there's even a five star hotel over there. So I can imagine what sort of clientele they get over there. Whereas this area, this restaurant, was located in an area which is very communal. This is the magic about Namur. In Namur, there's no such thing as haute cuisine. Well, okay, they have haute cuisine restaurants, but you know they don't make it obvious. They, it, it, it blends with all other restaurants. Everything is just combined. Everything is combined, guys. This is the beauty about Namur and the Italian restaurant over there. You go in that Italian restaurant, you feel a strong sense of community. Everybody almost knows each other over there. The guy, he was like, hey, welcome, welcome. It's like he knew every single person. And I was like, wow, I have to visit this place again. This is the kind of restaurant I love. Oh my goodness. And the food, oh, rich flavor at such a good price tag, guys. Good value for money. Who said good value for money only applies with cars? Hmm? I sure didn't. Well, okay, I do say good value for money when it comes to cars, but when it comes to food, it's also important, guys. Passion for food. Yes, that's what's important. We need to be passionate for food. There has to be some flavor, some delicious things, guys. I really, really do not like it when, you know, there's a big, 
barrier, a big wall between haute cuisine and, you know, the fast food and everything. It, no, 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 no. Everything has to... There's sometimes marriage, a marriage between two different cultures or two different types of food is just the best thing ever. Or even not necessarily with the food, sometimes with the ambience, the presentation, the restaurant itself. Guys, community, community sometimes plays a very big uh, role. And this is uh, the magic about Namur. In Namur, a lot of the restaurants survive thanks to community. Anyways, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and stay tuned for more videos that are on the run. Bye!